Fall weather, baby. So we're uh, going into a hot grog. Hot drinks, a grog. We'll tell you a little bit about a grog. My Modern Dictionary defines grog as a mixture of spirits and cold water, unsweetened. This undoubtedly is uh, the good nautical meaning of the term, dating back to the time when the men of England first commenced to go down to the sea in ships. Down to the sea in ships. Weird phrasing. Anyway, nevertheless, in American parlance, the term is more usually used to refer to a hot drink and one that not only is sweetened but also contains lemon juice or at the very least is served with a slice of lemon. So the one we're going to do today is called a hot grog and we'll start out with one jigger of Jamaican rum. We're going to use Myers rum. Appleton's is the other one that we have on hand most of the time, but this one was closer to on hand. Specifically a teaspoon of simple syrup. This is a weird one because it's like really specific measurements, but then it's like, then just pour water over all of this stuff, however much water you want, I guess. One teaspoon. And it says a tablespoon full of real lemon. So you want to get your uh, real lemon. I just read the bottle of lemon juice. <laughs> uh, so you don't want to get this confused because I think you want it to be a little bit tart and not super sweet. Plus the rum's got a little sweetness to it anyway so you don't need much syrup to bring that out. Lemon juice. Then the book says, stir all the above ingredients together in a highball glass or mug and fill up with hot water and add a twist of lemon peel. Uh, I didn't really prepare for this, so that's just for aesthetics anyways, mostly. In a hot drink, it will bring out a bit more of like the bitterness of the lemon, which is probably nice to have. So do that. Do it. If you have a lemon, throw a lemon peel in there. And then it also says that any other spiritus liquor can be substituted, but the traditional grog is made with a heavy-bodied rum, like a Jamaica rum, New England, or Demerara? 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 Uh, name here. Uh, so hot tea is also sometimes used instead of water, and he says it makes a better drink. Uh, and as the author of the book, I don't understand why that wouldn't be the way he tells you to make it if it's better. Sorry, David. Another strike against you. Anywho, I'm going to add some hot water now. Oh, it smells really good. Look, you're on, the, you're on a different side. It feels awkward. Let's switch. <laughs> so, this is a hot grog. It smells good. It's going to be hard to sip right now because it's super yeah. hot, but you're Did right. you stir it? No. I think it's going to be like kind of low key. Like I don't think it's that much flavor. Like one shot of rum for a glass it's that big so is not hot. that much. Oh, it is very mild. Yeah. Mm. Probably good for a sore throat or a cold day. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's actually super nice. Like, I've always really loved hot toddies. Uh, and this is, like, way more low-key. Like, it doesn't taste like there's really alcohol in it. And, I mean, it is only that one shot for the glass. Uh... And compared to other drinks that are in this book, that is not much. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Bean likes it. Bean's cool. She's a cat. My goodness. Anyways, like and subscribe. Have yourself a hot grog. It sounds kind of gross, but it's actually quite good. Toodles.